a name like Gossi Gofet, a man's picture and female gender. If you go also to Amoma Primary School, pulling in 01, you will see a name like Grifty Edem, a man with a female picture. If you go to Pulunyini 01, same Omoma, you see a name like Hans Bira, a woman's picture and a male gender. Then you continue also, in the, you go to Umuhu Primary School 001, you see a man's picture, female gender, a name called Lanley Allen. We are talking of Omoma where you have names like Nkechi Adak. Then you go to uh, uh, the same Umuhu Primary School, you go to you see a name Luna Elomo, a woman's picture and male gender. You see another name, Makati Yoso, Japanese name. You see a, 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 a female picture and a man's uh, gender. This is how all of them is. So I will not. I will give the copies to all of you and will share to Nigerians also. Now, when we went through the register, we discovered thousands of these foreigners in the register. We named such as Grifty Adam, Hins Bray, Flood Gary, Ford Scott, Ghana Stella, Hood Killer, Harren Drake, Gruti Silas, Lenly Allen, Luna Amo, Lower Rizafana, Makati Yusio, Muru Amba, Morono Lee, Maurice Dakwam, Navarro Dakwam, Tyson Kata. They are all in their thousands in Hopus of the Mass Village, Omoma Ward, in Imo State. We are using Omoma and Imo as a test case of what has been done to over 18 states in the country. It is, however, very instructive that it will be discovered from the data in the register that we shall make available to you that all these fake registrants, both old and young, as can be seen from their photos, all have the same date of birth, 1983, including the grandmothers there. Nigerians will also see new registrants, which are, when you go to page four of this, you will see people that were born in 1900, 1902, 1912, 1913, 1931, all in Hopus of the Mass Village registered among this new registration. Which are names we believe we are from a death register in New Zealand. Names like Abraham, Jack, Dave also appeared against female photos. Further, faces that are obviously quite old are seen with death or bad like 1990, 1993, 2000, 2002. You will also find obviously female names such as Rebecca, Jane, Gloria, Mary, Felicia against male photos and also see photos of women wearing hijab, yet answering village names uh, in Omoma, in thousands. I need to remember that Omoma is the only east in Oslo, where the activities of unknown government is very high, and I make office have been burnt. Male gender, male gender were assigned to female photos, and female gender assigned to male photos. What a shame for a party in power to be involved in this type of electoral treason. It is like that all over the states. In many polling units in Uguta, in Mbano, in Oru East, in Ida Atosat, you will see similar things. You will see that it was passport photographs that were used to register majority of the names found in the register. In words like Obiohia, Obiohia is, 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 is important for you to note here. There is new polling units in Obiohia where they have the health centers and the Mumebe Manumo all are contained here. The entire new polling unit scanned passport photos we have used for the registration, including barrier pictures, you will see them. They even snapped it from the frame with no shape. It wasn't even a professional work. So, in words like all you are here, in Ida Tosat, in Ida Kenesi 1 and 2, all in Ida Tosat, you will find the scanning of passport photos and pictures from, from brochures with which registration was done. And all of you remember that the beavers captures the picture of the person it is registered. So how come people had access to the password and were able to upload passport photos and burial pictures and created names for them to be registered? It is like that, statewide and nationwide, in almost the 22 APC control states. It is very obvious from the register that these were not captured human faces, but photos that were captured and uploaded to the register with fake names and fake biometrics. At this juncture, it is right to ask some questions to the APC, the presidency and security agencies. Who generated these photos and these foreign names whose real identities are exposed when you search them from the Google? How did the APC and their agents and those behind this monumental fraud get access to the INEC machine with which they committed this heinous crime? How did this person have access into the INEC database to be able to upload these fake identities particularly where many of them are discovered to be in the new pooling unit created by INEC. 
Furthermore, gentlemen, the coordinator of the illegal registration in Imo State, for instance, was a former INEC staff who was the head of the State Electoral Commission and who, who has now been promoted to a... All right, great people. All right. I hope every one of you understand now that Nigeria is a fraud. Nigeria is a fraudland. The foundation of Nigeria is a fraud. I want you people to understand. If you never identify your problem, there is no how you can solve it. I always tell my people that Nigeria is not for you. The amalgamation of Nigeria 1914 have expired. That is why you are seeing all these shenanigans. No one is a Nigerian. That is why you are seeing all this evil, killing, maiming, destruction. Because we are not one people. And I will keep on telling my people this. Till you stand on your ground and buckle your belt and embark on the journey that we are. Biafran Restoration Project. And I want to also use this opportunity to thank Ikenga Imo State for doing a very great, wonderful work. These people have been doing this for years. That is why I always tell my people, your vote can never count in that contraption. You know the reason why? Before the election, they have already selected who will be there. And I hope you are getting the point. I hope you get the point. You see, I always bring reality to our people so that you will see by yourself and begin to believe because that is very, very important that you see and then believe. Let me introduce myself before I will go in details. Great people, my great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Nambi Okukan, where we always send the record straight. My names are Mazo Kenna Okechuku, known as the Pia Franchise Wachineke. The General, now let us go in details. According to Ikenga Imo State, who opposed or them my INEC APC grant plan is posed. Their grand plan have exposed by Ikenga Imo State. And there is something that I really want to let our people understand. Like I said from the beginning, that before the election, they have already selected who will be there. It does not matter. You go out there, you know, because when you see today, and uh, what we really see in these things that Ikenga Imo State did by exposing them, that is where you will begin to understand who is Nigeria. And you will see that there is no how you can ever survive there. Because there are some people that own this country. There are some people that believe that they were born to rule. And there is nothing you can do about it. Until this integration of this contraption called Damide Buzo or cease Nigeria to exist. Let everybody, O oh Israel, go back to your tent. That is when all these killings and maiming and destruction and adoption will stop in that contraction. I don't lie about what I'm saying, but you have been seeing it by yourself now. This is what Nigerian refer as a structure. Now you see it. Before the election, they have already selected. And why some people, some parasites, are running on social media screaming, saying, go and get this girl and get this. Of course, you will go and get your PVC, but at the end, they will tell you who will be there. That is the structure of that contraption called Amine Buzu. Nigeria is a fraudulent. The foundation of Nigeria was built on fraud. That is why nobody say, nobody say Nigeria. According to King, I say all these fake registers, both old and young, are the same age. 1983. All of them, they are the same. How come all of the, the registration, all of them are the same age? That is what they call manipulation and fraudulent. Because that is what Nigeria has self-represent, a fraudulent. 
other new register again we are born some of the new register that hope those of them one have because this is apc and INEC. this is their their grand plan what they are planning and that is what is about to come that is why hope those of them will come and tell you that apc must win and apc have already you know do their grand plan you know put put everything in their place that is why you have to listen to this i'm very careful According to Ikenga, he said the new register they also found the people were born in 1900, 1902, 1912, 1913. All this was by hope, was in our land, Imo State, because he want to make sure, he want to make sure that he do the bid of his masters. Those that are imposing to Imo like people, to begin and to begin to kill the people of Imo State and maim them. You know, our people won't even understand what I'm saying. Because of course you are beneficial of hope, those of them. But believe you me, all these things that you see and you saw, they are all authentic. I want you to put this in your mind. According to Ikenga, he said in Omoma primary school, pulling unit 01. A man was identified as a female picture. A man name with a female picture. They don't even understand what they are doing. They don't even care to know if this person is a woman or a man. And you can also hear in our moment where they supposed to have a former Okechukun Okenna. She's a man. Now you begin to hear a foreign name. A very very foreign name different from that area that to show you that it does not matter that you have a PVC it does not matter if you vote they have already selected now I hope you get a point we are talking about the village of uh, village community village or community of Igbo people with Igbo name and you are hearing different Igbo name <laughs> now and now I hope you understand you see you better pay attention and understand that we are in a mess. If you understand that we are in a mess, that is when you will begin to think how to solve that mess. Nigeria is a fraudlet. That is what I want you people to understand. Ikenga, Imo State said, when they went through the register that they, they were discovered, thousands of foreigners, thousands of foreigners, with different names in our moment in Imo State. I want you people to understand that you see, all these things can never stop. I don't want to go, you know, to make this uh, short video so long because all of you have listened to Ikenga Imo State. The grand plan of APC, INEC, and hope, those of them are. That he he want to make sure that he delivered Imo State to APC. Why our people are dying? They are killing our people, maiming our people because of hope, those of them political ambition in Imo State. I want you people to understand that Nigeria can never be for you. Our leader Mazen Namdekan have been saying this time with that number, and he's still today in DSS dungeon because of me and you. What are you doing? You does nothing, but you are there following the politicians sheepishly, and they are using you. Before the election, they have already selected. That is something that I want you people to know. And Nigeria is a fraudulent. They are coming with ethnic cleansing. They are coming to take over your land. They are coming to adopt your people and rape them and kill them and take over your bushes and your forest. And you are there. You couldn't even understand what is going on. We must understand how Utumiris were ban your pure before EHU were not to do it. were good the mili. Now you understand what I'm saying. I thank you all, and I want you people to know that Nigeria has been broken into pieces. Nigeria never be a country. Nigeria is not a land. Nigeria is nothing but only fraudulent. Good day. I welcome.